Hello everyone. Welcome to today's tutorial video where we create a futuristic project using Archline XP 2024. We will be designing various shapes of suspended ceilings, from which we will cut out recesses by reshaping the profile. We'll also create a custom shelving system, and 3D decorative elements on the wall, utilizing the wall, at whole front profile command. Finally, we'll create and place LED strips in 2D and 3D views. We'll start with the suspended ceiling, but before we begin, we need to draw the shapes and profiles we want to cut out of the suspended ceiling. I've already prepared this in advance. Using the drafting tool, polyline, and arc tool, I've created these shapes on the floor plan, which will assist me in cutting the suspended ceiling. Let's get to work. First, let's set the properties of the suspended ceiling using the building, ceiling, plane ceiling by polygon command. I right click, then select property. I set the thickness of the suspended ceiling to 300 mm. The material remains white, and I also set the relative elevation to 2400 mm. Here, you can change the 2D representation to a simplified, symbolic, or top view. I'm choosing simplified for now. I accept with OK, and now we can create the suspended ceiling, using the ceiling, plain ceiling by polygon command. I select it, then by clicking the closed loop command, I click into the shape I previously drew. If we check the 3D view, we can see that the suspended ceiling has been created. I go back to the floor plan, and now we'll create the insets, or cutouts. I select the suspended ceiling on the floor plan, then clicking the pencil, I navigate to the holes and insets menu in properties. Here, I'll add a custom profile that I previously drew. Clicking the star button, we can define profile. Again, I choose the closed loop command, then click into this previously drawn shape. We can see, how the program places this profile, I create it with a green tick. The cutout is done. I accept with OK. Let's move on to creating the next suspended ceiling unit. Here too, I'll first set its properties. Its thickness will be 100 mm, and its relative elevation will be 2600 mm. The material and the simplified 2D representation can remain the same. I accept with OK, and start drawing the ceiling with the ceiling, plain ceiling by polygon command. This time, I'll draw it along the wall. Once done, I close it. The suspended ceiling is complete. Now we need to create its cutouts. I select somewhere along the wall, and then in properties, I choose the holes and insets command. Using the star symbol, I define the profile. In this case, I select multiple profile, then selecting the closed loop, I click into the first shape. I click again on the closed loop, then into the next shape. I continue like this until I've selected all of them. When done, I accept with enter, then create the suspended ceiling with a green tick. I accept with OK. Let's see the result in 3D view. Now let's create the wall decorations and shelving system. I've also pre-drawn the desired shape for this. If we look at the walls from the front view, this is the shape we'll create. We first need to draw three wall sections, from which we'll make these shapes. To do this, I first set the properties of the wall. Right-clicking on the wall command, I choose property. The total thickness is 100 mm, the height is 2700 mm, and the color remains white because we'll modify it later. Make sure, that the wall status has the disallow wall joins option enabled. I accept with OK and begin drawing. Here will be a curved wall segment, that I'll draw first. I select the wall tool, click the first point, choose the quadrant option, then type in the endpoint distance, 150 mm, and the wall is done. 
I'll move this wall into the corner, using an assistant rectangle. I create a rectangle around the wall. The corner point of this rectangle, will be the reference point for moving the wall. I move the wall into the corner. We don't need this rectangle anymore, so I delete it. I continue drawing the walls. I'll need two more wall sections. I select the wall tool, and start from the end of the previous wall. If the reference line isn't in the right place, I change the reference line. I specify the end point of the wall. I draw the other wall section. To create the decoration, I will profile the new walls with the pre-made wall shapes. For this, I'll need to edit the front profile of the wall. You can find this command in the wall local menu. I select the wall, then from the local menu, I choose reshape, at whole front profile command. It gives me the wall layout, which I can place onto the pre-drawn shapes. All I need to do now is select multiple profile, then closed loop. Just like before, I click into the shapes I want to create. I create each shape on the wall based on this. Once I've selected all the profiles, I accept with enter. Let's see the result in 3D. The first wall decoration is done. Let's do the same on the opposite wall. I select the wall, then again choose that whole front profile, from the local menu. I place the layout onto the pre-drawn shape. Again, I choose multiple profile, then closed loop. I click into the pre-drawn shapes. Lastly, we need to perform profile cuts on the curved section, to ensure a continuous decorative element on the wall. I go back to the floor plan, then selecting the inner arc. I choose the Add Whole Front Profile command. From here, I follow the same steps, as with the previous walls. Let's see it in 3D. The wall decorations are complete. Next, let's create a uniquely shaped shelving system. Again, I'll be using walls. I place the first point of the wall, switch the reference line, and specify the length of the wall. I create the wall on the other side as well, switch the reference line, and specify its length. Finally, I'll draw the curved wall with three points specified. From the drawn walls, I will create the shelving system by cutting the profiles, according to the pre-drawn shape. We'll define the profile later on the curved wall. I select the wall in 3D. Let's start with the wall opposite. From the local menu, I choose reshape, at whole front profile command. After switching the reference point, I place the layout onto the pre-drawn shape. Choosing the closed loop, I click into the drawn shape. The first shelf is done. I continue with the right side shelf. Clicking on the next wall, I again choose that whole front profile command. I place the layout. This shelf consists of multiple profiles, so I select multiple profile then closed loop, and enter the shapes in order. I close the command with enter. The second section of the shelving system is also complete. Finally, I'll work on the curved wall. Again, 
I'll use the add whole front profile command. I will add the front profile with two rectangles using the multiple profile. We finished creating the wall decorations and the shelving system. Next step, I'll create a skirting that connects to the shelving system. I switch back to the floor plan view and use the interior, sweep, horizontal molding command. First, I set the properties of the molding. The width will be 100 mm and the height 20 mm. I choose black steel as the material. It's important to set the reference point of the cross-section profile, I select the lower right reference point. Choosing the horizontal molding command, I draw the skirting. The skirting is done. Let's see the result in 3D view. I'll continue with the material settings for the shelving system. I set the material on the right shelf to the same black steel material as the skirting. Then using copy properties, I copy this material property to the other shelves. I set the walls material to white. I find the white material in the design center and drag it onto the walls. With this, I've completed the modeling part. In the final part, I'll place LED strips on the suspended ceiling and the shelves. First, I'll put the LED strips on the suspended ceiling on the floor plan. For this, I'll use the interior, lighting, LED light strip command. Choosing the closed loop, I simply click into the suspended ceiling. I specify the light color, dimming level, and the section profile. I'll set the relative elevation later for all of them. I create all five LED strips. Now, they are on the floor. I select all LED strips with control, then adjust their base elevation in one step. Next, I'll place them on the bottom of the shelves in 3D. I switch back to the 3D view and navigate to see the shelves from above. Here, I'll again use the interior, lighting, LED light strip command. First, I'll place it on the top surface of the shelves. So, I select the top surface of the shelves, then I'll use nodes to draw the path of it. When I reach the curved section, I choose the arc option and specify the arc with three points. Once done, I adjust its base elevation to go under the shelf. From this LED strip, I create a copy under the next shelf here in 3D. I select the strip, then using the blue arrow, I select the move copy command, and by raising it, I reach the bottom of the shelf. Finally, I adjust the length of the LED strip in both directions. In the last step, I place an LED strip on the sloping edge in the same way. 
With the LED strips completed, I return to the saved view and display the furniture. For this, I use the layer walk. Holding control, I turn on the objects layer, then select the refresh 3D option and the program automatically rebuilds the model. With this, we've come to the end of the tutorial video. I hope this presentation was helpful and you can apply these modeling techniques in future projects. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a great day. Goodbye.